What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are here with a pretty darn important Animal Crossing New Horizons update video because there's a bunch going on this morning. First off, as you see on your screen, we got a new Animal Crossing update. So we're going to talk about 1.1.2 and what all that brings, changes, and fixes. But probably most important of all, and you're going to want to pay attention to this one, there is a new game-breaking bug in the game. And we're not talking the Atlas Moth, we're talking about a glitch that will severely halt your progress and it's made so much worse because right now is Bunny Day and I'll explain exactly why in a second. We're also going to go over some new stuff happening in the world of Animal Crossing. It should be a good time and an informative time, so hit that like button if you enjoy the video and are loving AC. Let me know in the comments down below if this glitch makes you nervous. We're going to download the update. The glitch revolves around popping balloons but let's talk about this update first because that thing is scaring me and i want to tell you guys what's happening in this patch so right now we're patching right now 1.1.2 fixes the villager moving out bug Whew. so one game breaker down another reappears or appears i guess for the first time or at least has been found for the first time the villager moving out bug was the bug where uh, if you adopted a villager from someone else's village who had kicked someone out via the campsite, then their plot of land for the new villager coming to your town could have been completely glitched and no one ever moved in. It was pretty, pretty rough. But now luckily that's been fixed. We don't really have to go into details or worry about that. They also fixed a bug which causes Tom Nook's request to the island representative to find a plot of land and disappear. They fixed a bug which makes it impossible to move facilities in the player's house after deleting a user from the game. And they fixed a bug which reduces both the bells and nook miles when purchasing an item during an island tour on Mystery Island. So good on Nintendo for clearing those issues up. And it actually looks like it's 1.1.2A. And I, I don't know if the A still stands for the hey, a hey, we got the bunny date update in there because that's what it converted over to when bunny date was active. Maybe it stands for April, I don't know. But good on Nintendo. Now let's talk the big bug that is ruining games right now. So what's going on is, you know the achievements, the Nook Mile achievements, I'll actually load in here and say hello to that achievement booklet to, to show it up. But that achievement that you get for 300 pop balloons is causing a major problem where no more balloons are spawning after said achievement. Now this was discovered by Stellary two days ago, but it's starting to gain a lot of traction for one specific reason. Can you think of why? Well, balloons popping, it's an exciting thing. You get recipes, it's pretty cool. But why is it worse right now? Well, it's terrible right now because as Isabel knows, it's April and that means bunny day and what is floating through the skies like crazy. Those skyboxes are absolutely littered with egg balloons, and so getting to 300 is pretty darn possible, even though that seems like a far-off achievement now that Bunny Day is active, and now that there are so many sky eggs and recipes floating all over. So hitting 300 could be something that occurs quite quickly, and it sounds like it's preventing any more balloons from spawning. Now, if you happen to hit this glitch mid-Bunny Day or pre-acquiring the required Bunny Day eggs, then you're in big trouble because how will you get sky eggs? You won't. If no balloons are spawning, you won't get sky eggs. Now let's look at the achievement for ourselves and see what's up. Ooh, I've got some miles to cash in. Um, it sounds like the only way people are working around this bug is by starting a second player resident on the island and letting them play and they're able to find balloons. Now the initial person is not able to find balloons, which is hard because you don't really want to have to plug in a second character just for the whole point of getting balloons when the game should do it for you. Now I'm far off. It looks like I've got over 50 balloons. I would guess I'm closer to 100 given how many sky eggs I pop, but I'm a ways away, so I'm safe for now. But you're going to want to make sure you do not reach that 300 balloon threshold anytime soon because right now Nintendo they don't have it fixed. Apparently people have been in contact with representatives at Nintendo letting them know the problem and they've said that, hey, they do not have that bug listed yet. So it clearly needs to be reported and then really worked on to get this fixed because nobody wants their bunny day messed up. And like I said, the balloon issue would be an issue and something that needs to be fixed any other time, but it's exacerbated and so much worse right now. Another reason the balloon thing is such a problem is because there's new cherry blossom recipes. Those are typically found as balloons, so not only is Bunny Day gonna get boinked, but the Blossom Festival, 
not really a festival, but you know, like the Blossom inclusions, those could get blocked as well if the presents stop falling. Okay, so please watch out for that glitch. Please make sure that you are not approaching uh, 300 pop balloons. Please keep tabs and look, and, and when you get the 100 achievement, make sure that you do not get too close to that 300 achievement count if you have to. I don't want to see your games messed up. When will it be fixed? How will it be fixed? I don't know. I fully expect Nintendo to fix it. I think they're pretty darn good at that kind of stuff, and they like to keep their games running smoothly. You saw how quickly they did patch the uh, bugged villager issue, the one where Tom Nook says, hey, this plot of land ain't working right, or the sign, I guess, that he put up says that. Uh, so that's out the way, but this one, I hope we get a 1.1.2b or 1.1.3 soon to really take care of that. Now, I do want to show you one more thing uh, before we get into some of the stuff going up on my island. Let's take a look at what this incredible, incredible, <laughs> wonderful villager made. This comes from a villager by the name of Vane Manning, and they recreated Zelda Link to the Past in New Horizons. They brought Hyrule to their island, and it is so freaking cool. So they've got a wonderful outfit, by the way, which is fantastic. But look at this comparison. Took them four days of terraforming. I don't have terraforming yet. Do you guys have terraforming? I'm waiting for terraforming, but it sounds like it is a chore because you have to buy all the individual like permits, and then you have to just load into a separate mode and then make the change. I don't know. It sounds like it's a lot of work, but I'm excited to, to really take my island to another level. I'm not happy with some of the ways the river currently moves, and I need more bridges and slopes and inclines, and I want to build them with land paths. Anyhow, look at this. He created a wonderful, near-perfect, one-to-one recreation of the Link to the Past map. You can see he's got the, like, the towns and the homes by the village. Uh, he's got shops. He's got the mountain ranges. He really tried to create this in exactly the way it should be, which I think is freaking sweet. It just looks absolutely awesome. They say there's still work to do, but check out their screenshots as they make the paths. With the ability to pop all those QR codes in and make different patterns for the floors and make different outfits, you really could, I think, create like this sort of alternate reality Legend of Zelda, which would be sweet. I want to see people do this for everything. I want to see Splatoon. I want to see Super Mario. I want to see Mario Kart. Dude, make... Oh. If only Nintendo would put Nintendo-themed stuff in the game. You could get a Mario Kart and then make Rainbow Road paths with the, the, the pixel, like the QR code creator, the pattern creator, and then you could roll your carts through the streets like it was some sort of Mario Kart race. I hope they add new items. I know they added so many here for Bunny Day, but I hope they bring a Nintendo pack to the table. It just seems so fitting and so freaking cool. Like, it's gotta happen. Nintendo stuff in the game. They already got the ACNH uh, Switch, the OG Switch. Bring us more. Now, I've got some more Bunny Craftables. Uh, if you saw my video yesterday, I acquired a, quite a few recipes, quite a few eggs. I'm loaded on eggs. I got 16 wood eggs. So let's make this Bunny Day lamp. Oh, my pockets are too full. Okay, inventory cleared. We'll now go build more of our bunny goodies like we like to do. I'm trying to acquire the full set so that when Zipper comes back on the 12th, because yes, he's only here the 1st and the 12th, which is really weird. And I'll do a quick lap of the island to confirm, but I'm pretty sure the dude is only here on the 1st and the 12th, which is... Ugh, I don't want... I wish he was here the whole time. Anyhow, I got to get all the recipes. Um, as you can see, we've got the lamp, the garland, the wall, the rug, all of the different... Um, outfit pieces that you get from the different stuff. Ooh, now I'm short on earth eggs. I just spent them on the lamp, but uh, uh, I don't know. I spent them on other things. Wood eggs for the lamp. Get the wood eggs and the earth eggs. All the eggs kind of get confusing. Anyways, I've got all the clothing options. I do have the egg party hat, the egg party dress, and the bunny day crown. Still looking for the flooring, still looking for the balloons, still looking for a few more pieces, um, but our room is coming together nicely. In a super cool turn of events, as soon as I hit stop on recording, Rolf ran over, who is my snooty replacement, so this guy has been good to me, and he said, hey, I got a new recipe. Bunny day bag is ready to go, so let's craft this bad boy real quick and add this in there. I did not expect to get it. It was just like the perfect timing as soon as I hit stop. He was like, yo, I got something for you. I love that the villagers know the Bunny Day recipes and they can bring it your way. Wait, did he give me the recipe or did he just give it to me? Did he just give it to me? Maybe he just gave it to me. Ralph. There, oh, there it is. Okay, he gave me, <laughs> forgot to learn it. I got so excited. Freaking forgot to learn it. All right. You guys ever do that? And you're like, where is the recipe? But it's actually in your inventory. You're just too pumped to... Put the bunny day bag. I don't know if this is a backpack or if this is like a like 
shoulder. Oh, it is a backpack. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. One of each. This is so cool. I'm putting this on absolutely immediately. Safety vest needs a freaking bunny bag. I do like my goofy outfit that I've crafted. There's, there's just not a lot of items for guys in Bunny Day. So I'll wear the hat and we'll wear the bag. And that's that's about that's about as cool as it's going to get. Check that out. Okay, now I kind of need to take the hat off to actually see my cool backpack. All right, take the hat off. Ready for school? In my, I love that backpack. That's actually really cool. That is a fantastic backpack. It's kind of like a turtle shell backpack. Where's my Bowser backpack? There's actually another issue I want to bring up, and I'm sure that some of you have had this issue. I don't know if it qualifies as a bug or just a online aggravation station, an issue that can't be fixed, but when you have an online session that crashes, it's totally possible to lose everything you got within that session. So, last night, I was playing online, I opened my gates, and at the beginning of the session, I caught one of the coveted Atlas moths, the giant moths. It was actually at this tree over here, I'll show you. Gulliver's here, we'll need to talk to him in a little bit. Uh, he's shown up now two days in a row. Um, it was right on this tree, an Atlas moth. I grabbed it. I have footage of it. I'll put a picture right there. Anyhow, I now do not have that Atlas moth anywhere because the session crashed and not only did the people who were in my island lose all the stuff they purchased and picked up, but I also lost my Atlas moth, which is a huge bummer because it took me quite a while to get. Should also have mail from Gulliver and then we'll add this bunny lamp to our bunny room and see how it's coming along for bunny day. But let's see, what does Gulliver have to say? That is a tarantula statue, by the way. A lot of people are always like, how do you have a tarantula on a rock? Why don't you get it? No, it's, it's a statue from Flick. Gulliver is going to give me, what is it? I'm, I'm going to guess it's a mermaid piece because he was talking about like flippers yesterday. Let's see. What did Gulliver bring for us today? It is a... Oh, it's a Tower of Pisa. <gasps> Heck yes. I love that he brings these international pieces. If you didn't know, every time you talk to Gulliver and save him from his travels, collect all of his little communicator parts, in the next day, he will mail you a freaking international artifact. So I've got like this milkmaid hat, there's the Tower of Pizza, there's the Eiffel Tower, there's all sorts of cool things. This one's actually pretty freaking neat. I kind of want to put it on a pier. Um, I've got my lighthouse over here. Would it look good next to the lighthouse? Should we just go a double tower? Double tower status, or is that going to be weird? I guess the lighthouse is perfect. Oh, okay, for right now, I don't know where to put it, but for right now, I love that you can put things um, on, <laughs> on these docks. So it's like, hello, look at my buildings. Who's got the bigger stack? Tower power. They can, uh... They can duke it out and see who's bigger. Well, the lighthouse is winning, and I don't think the pizza is getting any bigger. If anything, it's going to fall. Also, I want to let you know, um, I'm going to try to highlight some of them, but right now, these these freaking petals are incredibly important. There's a lot of recipes. You probably have the picnic set recipe, but there are so many recipes that are coming through um, right now with the cherry blossom petals now that it's April and now that those have been added to your island. So make sure if you see them, you catch them. Ooh, balloons. Do we shoot the balloons? Do we risk it? We gotta risk it. I'm not close to 300 yet. Uh, but as you can see, there are so many of them. This would become a problem if you're looking for sky eggs. Or I've actually got like three or four of the Bunny Day recipes in this fashion. So that, it just, it, they have to fix it so it doesn't wreck Bunny Day. They gotta get it fixed before the 12th. Because I bet if you play every day and you're popping balloons, you're gonna hit 300 before Zipper T returns. And that could get ugly, so let's make sure that doesn't happen. I don't want anybody to uh, to have their game break. All right, this is what we got so far. The wallpaper, the rug, the vanity, the bed, the stool, the table, and then let's throw in the, um, where is it? Not the menu chalkboard. Let's throw in the bunny day lamp in this corner. It's so cute. If we turn the lights off, well, it, it's kind of on. Hello? On, on, okay, it's, it's on, it's definitely on. The garland is cute. I need to make more of that to kind of take it all the way around the room to really uh, work on this wonderful freaking event room. I love that idea of keeping this my event room and just always redecorating it for whatever the newest event is. Uh, I mean, hey, maybe Earth Day has like two items. It's gonna be a very minimalist room, but that can work too. You can rock a very simplistic style. I, people do it all the time. All right, so anyhow, that is kind of gonna do it for what's going on right about now hunt your petals there's a bunch of new bugs and fish maybe we'll talk about those at a later date but right now i just want to make you aware of that game breaking bug with the balloons i wanted to let you know about the patch notes that have fixed some bugs which is good and i wanted to show you uh, a little bit more of the bunny day stuff gulliver's tower of pisa 
and uh, give you an idea of what my villager is rocking and wearing today. I gave him the, the buck tooth for, for Bunny Day. It just seemed fitting. Anyways, let me know if you've run into this bug, if you're approaching 300 balloons, if you think it'd be a big problem if you couldn't pop any more balloons. And not just pop them, but they don't even spawn. Let me know you're taking all that in the comments down below. Hope you guys are having fun with Bunny Day. I'm going to get Gulliver up and Adam so I can get another international piece of furniture for my island. Until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Hope you're staying safe and strong out there. If you want to join our Discord, Switch Strong, it's a great, fun, positive place to play Switch. And we got tons of Animal Crossing trading, island visits, information sharing, and a whole lot more over there. So link in the description below. Thanks for being here. I love you guys all a lot. Until next time, Switch Force out.